The B segment or the subcompact sedan category in the Philippines is probably one of the, if not the most popular and most competitive. And for the longest time, we Filipinos have to make deal with featureless cars and pretty much cars that just take you from point A to point B without any much style or comfort. But finally, this car came along. This is the all new and most awaited 2022 Geely M Grand Premium. Today, I'm gonna to show you around this car and I'm also gonna give it a test drive, so stay tuned. The Geely brand in the Philippines has been very famous for their expanding Cosmos grill, but for the first time ever, they give us something else. Now, they call the grill on the all new Geely M Grand as the Energy Pulse grill, and I can kind of see why. There is the Geely badge in the center, and all around it radiates this look of energy with this black accent over here, as well as all your chrome slats down the middle. Your hood is nice and muscular with around four lines on it. Looks very bold, including the LED headlights. Down below, while you don't get your fog lights, you do get these chrome garnishes on here, which makes it look very sporty indeed. And towards the bottom of everything is more of that chrome trim. The major advantage of the all new Geely M Grand sedan can be seen from the side because this car does not suffer the same bloating effect that subcompact sedans get. And while this is technically a subcompact, compact sedan even price wise this car is longer than a toyota corolla altis it is wider than a corolla altis a honda civic and even a mazda 3 and in fact this car is only 0.7 inches narrower than a toyota camry which is two segments above this car all around the sides are more touches of really euro style look that premium feeling look that we would see starting off from your chrome all around the windows you got this very powerful character line just by the upper part of the door then towards the middle of the door another line and more of these accents down below your rims on this one these are 17 inch rims solid disc brakes at the rear and ventilated disc brakes up the front so this is pretty much class leading before we talk about the rear part of the Julie m grand you got to make sure that i have the key with me in my pocket and as i get closer to this car in case my hands are full of grocery items all i have to do is wait a couple of seconds and this trunk right here will open up just like that. That way I don't have to use my hands. And in here, you're looking at over 500 liters of space and you even have this false floor, which has a donut spare tire. And you can also fold down the seats 60-40. Once you do close this trunk back down, you can see that you have these light bar right here, which gives you a rhythmic effect. There is a light show that it gives you and more of that Geely logo over here. I really love that touch as well as the M Grand. Down below is a diffuser and thankfully you do not have a single fake exhaust in this car. Powering the all new Geely M Grand is a 1.5 liter naturally aspirated inline four engine, which makes 102 horsepower and 142 newton meters of torque. Some people will say that this car will not have a good powertrain and then Engine because it's a Chinese car. Well, let me tell you, this engine right here is actually a derivative of a Mitsubishi engine. And this one also is mated to an eight simulated speed CVT transmission. Aside from the usual safety features, the all new Geely M Grand in this premium trim also gets six airbags and it has this really cool trick. So in a hot summer day such as this one, and before you enter the vehicle, you want the cabin cold. So you just press the lock button on your key, then this round button right here, you press and hold that, and just wait a couple of while and the car will start itself and will also turn on your air conditioner. Inside the Geely M Grand, we check the door thud. It sounds closer to a Euro car actually. Now we start the car up. Your stop start button is over here towards the center. That's a very interesting place. And now inside the cabin, you enjoy a two-tone blue and white finish inside this premium trim. It does really remind me of something very bespoke. I'll leave up to you which particular brand I'm talking about. So if you look at your dash and even on your sidings, everything is just soft touch. If you press it, you're gonna feel very happy. Then you even have a lot of these really nice stitch patterns towards the side. Even the speaker covers, they are all really nice designed and your steering wheel is incredibly chunky the girth on this one is pretty good the Geely badge of course looks really nice on this one you get cruise control settings on the left side and your auto controls on the right you have a 12.3 inch digital instrument cluster which also shows you your TPMF and towards the center of everything is an incredibly responsive 8 inch touchscreen unfortunately you don't get Apple CarPlay nor Android Auto but you can mirror your phone towards this and you can even watch Kyle on car reviews 
on it. What I don't like about this though, is that although the cabin is well laid out, a lot of the controls is in the screen itself. So your eco, comfort, and sport mode can be accessed through there and even your sunroof. Speaking of that, you do get a sunroof up top. Towards the middle, more storage spaces, a USB port, 12 volt outlet, a regular shifter with manual mode, electronic parking brake, auto hold, more cubbies down the middle, and this one goes pretty deep as well. Your seats on the driver's side, they are power adjustable, but the passenger seats get manually adjustable seats. Then if you look at your air vents, everything is just so sleek and metal -like. Looking, they also feel incredibly high quality. In most subcompact sedans, you'll be okay to drive them, but you wouldn't really want to be a passenger because their rear seat isn't exactly the best. But the all-new Geely M Grand is there to change that. First, we check the door thud, and it sounds pretty good. And once you're back here, you really feel like you would want to have a chauffeur because it is incredibly comfortable here at the back. If we start off with the seats, they are really, really comfortable. A lot of subcompact sedans, yes, there is a lot of space, but there's not much thigh support. Everything is thin, even your door cards are thin. But for this one, oh yeah, it's like riding a mid-size sedan or at least a compact sedan. Your legroom is great. You even have this cutout right here, this recess for extra legroom. You have a map pocket. Your headroom is great, really good, and you also have great feet room. Now, unfortunately, the things in front, these sidings, which are soft touch, they do not continue, but you gotta think about the price point of this car. This one is forgivable, definitely forgivable. But you do get those same stitchings and even the design for these speaker covers. What I don't like about it though is unfortunately, you do not get your own center armrest, that's a bummer, but you do get your own air vents and USB port, plus you even get these quarter panels to give you a more airy feeling cabin, that way you won't feel claustrophobic. Can you see three people at the back? Well, you kind of can. I mean, the car is uh, almost as wide as the Camry and feet space is good. The floor is almost completely flat. However, it is still best reserved for two people for utmost comfort. So driving the all new 2022 Geely M Grand Premium. We took this car all the way from Geely Fairview to here in Alabang and we are currently driving this on Daang Reina just to give this a proper road test. And over here, it is incredibly nice. You know, when you're driving this car in the city, you really won't feel like you are on a budget. It doesn't feel like you spent less than 1 million pesos. Although this car competes against the likes of the Toyota Vios, the comfort and the quietness that this new M Grand provides you, it's really at par with something like a Toyota Camry. The 1.5 liter engine, yes, it's not turbocharged, so it is not as fast and responsive as what you would get with the Geely Coolery, Okavango, and the Ascara. But for your everyday trips, it is more than enough. In comfort mode, I find the throttle to be a bit jerky. Put it into sport mode, it gets jerkier, but it gets way more responsive. And if you put this car into eco mode, uh, that's my favorite mode. It's just so smooth. You can easily modulate the throttle. And the CVT transmission, although yes, it's not really geared towards a spirited driving style, it is still more than enough for your everyday trips. There is a little bit of whine, but it doesn't really groan a lot. It's not a very annoying groan. Inside city streets, the Geely M Grand steering is incredibly light and it's so easy to maneuver. And the way it deals with bumps, potholes, and uneven roads is just great. It really does soak up all the bumps. What this car does not like to do though is take corners fast because the suspension setup in this one is really tuned for a more comfort-oriented drive. So if you're looking for a car that could handle better, maybe you should look for something else. The car, yes, it's a little bit longer, it's a little bit wider than its competitors, but it really isn't that hard to park because you do have that reverse camera and you also get parking sensors. Your visibility too, although the A pillars are a bit thick, everything else, including the back, is not bad. Fuel economy is one point that a lot of people in this segment will find very important. And in the city, at slower traffic, you can get around eight kilometers per liter. But if the traffic does clear up a little bit, you can get around 11. However, when you do go up over to the highway, you can get 15.6 kilometers per liter. During the highway, the Geely M Grand steering does tighten up a lot, giving you a very reassuring feel. Everything around you just gets really quiet. You feel very isolated from the outside road. It truly does feel like a European car. There is a little bit of tire noise, but wind noise is kept to a bare minimum. And Geely even says that this car right here is three decibels quieter than a BMW 3 Series at idle and at 120 kilometers per hour at first I didn't want to believe that but uh, yeah now driving it here it simply is that good 
Does it feel scary to drive when you're going fast? Not really when we're going at like highway speeds of 100 kilometers per hour. It simply is very stable as well. It feels incredibly planted. So taking this car for longer journeys is perfect. Plus the fact that your seats are incredibly well bolstered and even the lumbar support is great. It just is a very comfortable car overall. At 908,000 pesos plus a 50,000 peso discount if you reserve until a certain date, the Geely M Grand is probably the best car that I have driven under 1 million pesos. Now, Geely even says that they will release cheaper variants of this one. So there's gonna be the Comfort, which we know of, which we will also test once it comes out. And also an S variant, which is a manual. And that one will come with like drum brakes and steelies. So I think that car should probably be priced even lower than the Comfort trim. So maybe in a couple of years, we might even see that car replacing and totally killing off the Toyota Vios when it comes to fleet cars, taxis, and TNVS or Grab cars. But for now, now that we have this premium trim, it truly is a bang for your buck car. And if there's one thing that I will do after this review is I will go home and convince the parents, convince the family to get one of these as well. Once again, this has been Kyle Young and thank you for watching. But we also once again have to thank Geely Fairview for lending us this car over here. If you're interested in your next Geely car or especially your next Geely M Grand, then simply call the number that I will put down below inside the description.